Caterpillar 2019 tracked skid steer. Those are the three. How do we know? We've done so many of them. We can look inside if you want. See what's in there. That's going down with the switch. How cool is that? Looks good to me. So here we are in the yellow. Turn the key. Even though it's below 12, we know once it fires up, it's going to go above 12, probably 13.5. So red is hot, yellow is ignition on most of your Caterpillar small machines. So we'll go ahead and just um, posi tap these in the meantime. And of course, we've got a uh, couple red butt connectors on there because we have to feed the cable through the top up here because our device is going to go behind this mirror on top of this metal shelf that's on top of there. And it'll, it's a really good spot for these. It's inside, it's protected, gets a great GPS signal. We also need to find a ground in here. And uh, a lot of times you can go right to the cigarette lighter. In this case, they're using USB. So we're gonna go probably to that. Um, sometimes you can get away with catching a black wire somewhere on these panels, but you have to be careful because might be part of a CAN bus or multiplex system and you don't want to take the vehicle out. Um, we've also got a light up here, so that tells me there's probably a ground on that as well. But we'll take a look here in a minute and see which way we're gonna go. Something else that you'll see, there's a little bit of dust and dirt and stuff up on there. So we'll go ahead and clean that off. Now it's nice and shiny and smooth. We fed our cable through the back side over here. So we have our three ends. So we still need to find a ground and we'll mount the device. I'm using a double stick Gorilla Tape on the back. It works really well on a clean surface. And we'll be back in a minute. And as you can see, our device is mounted in there nice and firm. You just have to hold it down for a few seconds to make sure it stays in place. And once this stuff is in, I mean, it'll, it stays in really well. This super, this Gorilla Double Stick Tape is pretty cool stuff. We used to use ribbon sealer, but this does a really good job. Now let's find our ground and get the sink connected. What I did was I started the machine, machine's running. You see the blower's on high, we're hooked up and this is what we got for ground. If I turn the blower off, I'm back to zero ohms of resistance. So I've got a good ground. So we're gonna go ahead and use that instead of trying to self tap and pull stuff apart. Easiest way to go, it makes sense, it won't hurt anything. And again, the machine's running without any problems. So we know our hookup is good. Let's go from there. All right, gang, so as you can see, Fuse is zip tied, taped up. We got all our wiring bundled inside of this. There's no strain on any of our wiring. Our ground is very nice. We checked the resistance on that. It's all bundled up. We'll probably add one more zip tie over one more zip tie over here, just to make sure that if anybody yanks on this cable, it doesn't rip out any crucial wiring for the machine. That's going to be it, and that's pretty much our uh, it's our Caterpillar. Uh, 259D install. Like I said, CAT has made it really easy. Just remember, red is hot. Red is hot, yellow is ignition, and find the ground somewhere. And CAT uses black for most ground connections on their machines. So there you have it. Enjoy. And as always, make sure the machine will start once you're, once you're completed uh, with the install. And for these machines, you have to flip the, uh, flip these safety levers down flip these safety levers down 
on both sides and it will actually allow the machine to start as such and there you go so machine starts everything's good we just need to call it in install complete thanks for watching